Mr. Pooter and Tabby make a wish. One. Good heavens! It was a beautiful morning. Mr. Pooter and his fine cat Tabby were eating raisin crumpets and apple jam. And reading the morning paper, Mr. Pooter looked at the date of the paper, October two. Good heavens, Tabby," said Mr. Pooter. "It's my birthday." Tabby looked at Mr. Pooter and purred. She was a little messy from apple jam. But she was glad it was Mister Pooter's birthday, if birthdays meant apple jam. Mister Pooter put the paper down and began to think. He thought of all his many birthdays, especially those when he was a boy. He had loved birthdays then. He always got a really good present, like a scooter or a model plane kit. He got a cake with candles. He got balloons. He got company. Birthdays were perfect days. But now, Mr. Pooter was old. Too old for scooters and model plane kits. Too old for balloons. Too old for a cake with candles. He'd need a fire hose to put them out. Mister Butter was just too old for a birthday. He would not think about it. He would not think about cake or candles. Or balloons, or model plane kits. He would enjoy his breakfast with Tabby instead. More jam, Tabby? Asked Mister Butter. Tabby purred. Jam was nice. Jam was fine. Mister Butter would just have more jam. Two. Can you wait? Mister Pooter couldn't help it. He wanted more than jam for his birthday. I am too old for birthdays, Tabby," said Mister Pooter. "But I want one anyway." Mister Pooter decided he could at least have some company. He would invite his neighbor. Mrs. Teaberry and her good dog Zeki to tea. Mr. Pooter called Mrs. Teaberry. He told her it was his birthday. He invited her to tea. Wonderful," said Mrs. Teaberry. "But first, I have to do the dishes. Can you wait?" Mr. Pooter said. He could wait. He finished reading the paper. Mrs. T. Berry phoned. I have to curl my hair, she said. Can you wait? Mr. Pooter said he could wait. He took a little snooze. Mrs. T. Berry phoned. I have to unclog the tub, she said. Can you wait? Mr. Pooter said he could wait. He read a book. Mrs. T. Berry phoned. I have to find Zeki's ball, she said. Can you wait? Mr. Pooter said he could wait. He clipped his nails. 
Mrs. T. Berry phoned. "I'll be there soon," she said. "Can you wait?" Mr. Butter wanted to say no. Mr. Butter wanted to say, "It's my birthday, and I can't wait." But Mr. Putter was nice. He said he could wait, even though he didn't want to. Mr. Putter was getting older by the minute. Soon it would be tomorrow, and tomorrow was somebody else's birthday. Mr. Putter looked at Tabby, who was curled up in a bowl. So far. This is a very strange birthday," Mr. Butter said to Tabby. Three, finally, Mr. Butter thought Mrs. T. Berry and Zeke would never come to tea. He thought he would have to wait forever. He thought he would be waiting until his next birthday. But finally, the doorbell rang. Mr. Butter opened the door. Surprise! It was Mrs. T. Berry and Zeke, and Mrs. T. Berry was carrying an enormous cake loaded with dozens of candles. Zeke had a present around his neck, and balloons on his tail. I had to make you wait," said Mrs. T. Berry, "so I could bake a cake." Mr. Butter looked at all the candles. "I'll need a fire hose to put those out," he said. When tea was served and he had opened his present, a model plane kit, Mr. Putter blew out all of his candles. It took five big breaths, plus some help from Mrs. T. Berry's hat, but he got them out. Did you make a wish? Asked Mrs. T. Berry. Mr. Putter looked at Tabby, and at Mrs. T. Berry, and at Zeke, and he couldn't think of anything to wish for. He had everything, even a model plane kit. Mr. Putter and Tabby and Mrs. T. Berry and Zeke. Ate cake for days and days, and Mr. Putter built his model plane almost perfectly. He just got a little mixed up on the tail. It had been such a wonderful birthday, of all the birthdays in Mr. Putter's long life, this one really had been worth the wait.